so this is that soap we did um we we as in gabriel and i <laughs> i was trying to decide on what glitter to put on top uh and hello yeah let's start there because i just remember i didn't talk through that video just because i had a lot going on but um all things good i was just tired really but yeah i was just trying to decide on a fragrance to put on this soap and i was just like oh i, I mean fragrance <laughs> Oh, geez. <laughs> um, speaking of fragrance, yeah. So this is round two with this soap. I remade it because I was not thrilled with the way the first one came out. So, um, yeah, we put a little bit of uh, biodegradable, bio that is not the word, <laughs> biodegradable glitter on top of this soap. Um, so, yeah, it could be it's going to dissolve. So anywho, I'm going to go ahead and get this chopped. I had no intentions on coming down here chopping this one up either. If you saw in last week's video, I think that was last week's or the one after this, one of the two. But yes, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and get this cut up. I probably should take a photo for Instagram just because it looks kind of stellar on top. So I didn't even bring, <laughs> I didn't even bring my cat, my phone down here. Jeez. So I might just have to do it um, with my camera. Huh? Okie doke. So, yeah, I probably should have grabbed my beautiful cutter, but I was really intending on just coming down here and cutting off one teeny face just to take a gander. But I was like, you know what? Get down here, finish cutting it. So, that's what I'm doing. So, we're going to go ahead and cut a sample off. And um, I'm excited to see what this is like. Just because the soap fragrance had other intentions <laughs> not really what i really wanted it to be so yeah it's um it still kind of has that greeny hue but this is just the first cut so i can't really say um i don't even know what it is it, it is just especially mind-boggling to me because that soap doesn't oh it smells lovely <laughs> it doesn't have a high vanillin count not at all so i don't understand where this this is coming from but okay so it is what it is so yes that is cool so this definitely doesn't fit fall at all but it's going in a fall box you know we don't have to necessarily do the traditional fall vibes here so i like it i'm happy with it it could really fall over into a halloween box or something like that but you know it's whatever you want it to be so i do like the way that looks i really do i'm not lying about that i love these swirls and the design it turned out the way i wanted it to now i will say this black chunk up here was really supposed to be more on a slant but because it was so um loose of a trace um it decided it wanted to sink down which is fine because like i said i still do like it and this is cool this is really cool especially those up there i love the way that looks cool 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 so, hopefully you guys are doing good. I'm doing fan. I'm just going to run back upstairs and finish making labels. Well, cutting labels. So, I have a Cricut. Uh, I just got a Cricut. And um, thanks to my darling soap sister, Ibani. Thank you, darling. Thank you. Thank you so much. She is so freaking awesome. So, be sure to head over to Instagram and um, follow her. Her page is called Above the Bar Silvery. Um, yeah, definitely check out Above the Bar. She's just, she's just a beautiful soul inside and out. And she has really given me a lot of guidance, you know, with my business. And uh, she already has a store and a couple of other cool things. So yeah, just check out her page because she has, you got to see her mobile store. It's freaking awesome, man. It really is. And she redid the entire thing by herself. Like gutted it, painted it the whole night. I'm just like, you go girl. So yeah, she has just really, really been like a mentor of sorts to me. So thank you, Ibani. And um, it was definitely all of, all credit goes to her for the Cricut. And I've just really been enjoying that machine. Oh my God, I never knew how bad I needed a Cricut in my life. <laughs> I love it. Oh, I love it so much. And I just, I am so excited to put these boxes together and show you what's in them. I just think they're going to be fantastic. I really, really do. I'm really excited for you all to see these boxes and what's in them. 
and um, I did use my Cricut for my labels because labeling is the worst part to me as far as running my business like creating them cutting them just the whole you know whole thing of it I just don't enjoy it but um the Cricut just makes it a lot more enjoyable it really does so thank you Ivani for being your lovely lovely self and guys again please do go support our soap sister above the bar soap coat um I believe it's soap coat or silvery I gotta look um but yeah she's pretty freaking awesome so yeah what are you guys doing today so it's Wednesday it's uh, about seven o'clock I got home started making labels you know uh, had no intentions on cutting this soap but glad that I did because I was kind of curious to see what was cooking on the inside so I'm pretty happy with what's happening here I really <laughs> actually I'm really happy with what's happening uh, here <laughs> Because it, it actually turned out the way I wanted it to. So I'm very happy. I was kind of fretting because the sides looked a little green like the other one. So I'll show you again this one. This is in the store too. And when I say green, this is what I mean. You see that greenish hue on the corners? So you can really see it here very well. I just wasn't in love with that color. Not at all. And I, I found out. I found out what these spots are. I'll tell you in another video. <laughs> because I don't want to make this cutting video too long. That's something I've been battling with and I've never had it before. And I was like, what is happening? But I figured it out. Well, you know, I can tell you quickly because I got one more cut. So I found out with lots of research that it is it's very cold in my studio. It's always cold down here. So um, I soap cold. I soap room temperature and my lye is seemingly much cooler than my oils and that is what's creating these stair gas acid speckles in my soap because this is something that i've never had before but by it being summer and we're having an air on and it being extra cold down here that's what's been happening so from now on i will be putting my lye don't do this this is something that i do if you're new if you're not if you're not a new soaper by all means. So I'll take my light container with a closed lid and stick it in a warm bath. Um, just water around it. Kind of like a double boiler, but I'm not boiling. It's just hot water in a bowl underneath it to kind of warm up that lye. And by doing that, then I'll bring those lye temperatures up to about the same temperature as my soaps. Um, it's just something that just started. I've never had this problem before. Why it's a problem now? Have no clue. But we need to end these spots because these spots are not fun in my soap. I don't enjoy them. Um, they're harmless. Absolutely harmless. It's just stearic acid. And I was, ooh, my back is gorgeous. I was kind of on the way uh, to getting rid of my stearic acid in my soap, but I love stearic acid in my soap because it lends a very uh, nice creaminess to your soaps and hardness as well. So, um, yeah. With that being said, figured it out. So happy about that. Okay, love hugs and kisses. Be awesome amazing everything you do. Thanks for hanging out. So glad you stuck around. Um, I truly, truly appreciate you guys. Those of you who are new and old. And for those of you who are new, I would hope that you would consider subscribing. Getting in the sack. What is a sack? It's our stinking awesome crew. All you got to do is subscribe. And just like that, boom, you're in. All right. So I'll see you guys later in the next making video. Bye.